Hey everybody, Chef Gavin here from Certified Angus Beef. Back in my home kitchen cooking another recipe with my son Aiden. Hi. So I was going through my freezer trying to pull out some braising items that I want to get through before it really starts to warm up. And I just happen to have some chuck roast. So I cut that into stew meat. You could use anything, chuck, round, anything good for braising. To go along with that, I've got some diced yellow onion, garlic, cumin, oregano, some flour for dusting and thickening, diced tomatoes, diced green chilies. I've got some stock, but since I was a little low on stock, I got some beer to top it off with. You could use anything, water would be fine if that's what you have. And finally, I've got the hominy. So hominy is dried corn that's been soaked in a solution, which gives it a slightly different texture and different flavor. I love hominy, so I usually have it around. If you don't have any hominy on hand, you could easily sub out corn or beans or something else just to make the stew kind of interesting. So I'm going to start by seasoning the stew meat with some salt and pepper. Salt is a mineral that you can use to spice up food and other stuff like meat and vegetables. That's right. Aiden here really enjoys helping me cook in the kitchen. All right, can I see that pepper now? Here you go. Thank you. Once I get a good amount of seasoning on, we'll go into a hot pan to get this seared. So I've preheated the pan to get it nice and hot. I'm gonna put in some canola oil. I wanna use this to sear in because it's got a high smoke point. And then I'm gonna add my beef. And I'm just gonna add enough to make sure I don't overcrowd the pan because I don't want, if it overcrowds, it cools down too much and then it won't sear the beef properly. Now we'll take a minute to add our onions and garlic. Aiden, if you would scrape that in with your bamboo knife for me. What my knife is made out of is, is what it can cut and scrape, which is plants. Perfect. And I'll just sweat these down for a couple minutes to soften them and let them release their flavor. And then we'll go in with the rest of the ingredients. I'm going to add my cumin and oregano to kind of bloom that spice. And I'm going to add this flour into it. The flour is going to add, make a good thickening agent for this stew and help pick up any of the excess fat that's been in here. All right, Aiden, if you want to pour in the stock. So we've allowed that fat to cook out some of that flour. And now it'll help to thicken the stew. So Aiden's adding all the stock. All right. And then I'm going to add my beer here. All right. And then we'll go in with the tomatoes and green chilies. And then the beef. Let all those juices that came out of the beef, those can all go right back in here too. So now this is a stew, and a stew and a braise are very similar in the cooking technique, where you just want to go low and slow. So I'm going to bring it to a quick simmer, and once it simmers, then I'll reduce the heat to low and let it cook for at least two hours or until the beef is tender. And I'll add the hominy right at the end because it's already fully cooked and just needs to get warmed through. Before I add the hominy, I'm going to take this time to check for seasoning. It's tasting good, but I think it could use a little more salt and pepper. So go ahead and add in some salt, a little bit of pepper. And then Aiden here is going to add the hominy for me. So Aiden, if you want to pour that in, I can help you scoop it out. Get a little low here so it doesn't splash on me. All right, so now I'm just gonna give this a stir, kind of incorporate all those ingredients. Let this simmer for like another 10 to 20 minutes, just to warm everything through, marry all the flavors, and then it'll be ready. And there you have it, a beef and hominy stew made from mostly pantry ingredients that packs a ton of flavor. So we'll see you next time. Bye.